Hello, Mario! Web Crap of the Week, Season 3, Episode 37. Hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Well, it hasn't been a big crap, a big week for crap this week. Not a lot of uh, stuff has come across the desk, and I did have a couple of glitches where I overwrote some really good crap with some even better crap. So, you know, a bit of a um, well, you know, some good quality stuff though, but just uh, not the quantity that's been coming through of late. So. Perhaps it's the uh, the winter vibe is sort of, uh, you know, people are not caring so much. But with spring, well, we'll expect to see a market increase in crap. So just uh, get your popcorn out, put your feet up. There's, there's enough there for you to relax on a wonderful Friday night. So uh, let's... Uh, Let's go over and uh, for a word from our sponsor. And this week, well, our sponsor is Marlon Brando. Marlon's a uh, great supporter of Web Crap of the Week and the Mario channel. And, uh, well, we in, uh, put up a picture of him from his earlier years. Um, well, we couldn't fit the... Um, some of the, uh, the latest pictures on the screen, to be honest. But uh, <laughs> no, Marlon's been a, a great uh, a great supporter over the years. And uh, yeah, so um, thanks, Marlon, for liking and subscribing to Mario. And uh, well, you know, let's hope that wherever you are, you're enjoying yourself to the max. So let's uh, have a look at, well... What the hell's going on here? I do not know. I haven't been able to uh, find the source of this, but it's certainly, uh, well, there's um, plenty of room for comment. Make a great uh, sort of caption contest. Um, these guys seem to be coming out of the water rather than going into it and obviously have some sort of purpose in mind, but uh, got no idea whatsoever what it is but anyway let's get on to the crap and well this um signboard i've seen quite a lot of um uh the the different ver different things on this signboard and uh i have to say this week uh the vegans are getting a bit of a bit of a hammering so um well you know it's everyone has a turn so we're an equal opportunity uh, channel we uh, take the take the mick out of anyone so these ones came through the channel this week so turning vegan would be a big mistake mmm yes okay well and uh, here's another one from the whole vegan thing dear vegans I killed this cow because it was eating your food <laughs> you're welcome yes uh Interesting debate there. I'm not quite sure, um, you know, how that's come about, but there seems to be a uh, little bit of our animosity going on there and what I see um, across the net and some of the various channels and things that I follow. But, uh, oh, well, we'll just... I'm just bringing the best stuff to you, so I hope you appreciate that. And as I say, we give everyone has a turn um, to be the uh, centre of our attention. Now this meme here, I think, uh, pretty much uh, related to the uh, Nike thing in Colin Kaepernick, which is again a theme that's come through uh, uh, this week. So uh, believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Yes, well, the ultimate uh, sacrifice there, and uh, well, things seem to be thawing a little bit in this area, and. Uh, the nuclear, well, not quite as, well, who knows. But um, anyway, you everybody has their opinion and you're, everyone's entitled to them. But in my case, I can see the, the humour in this and the parallels, and that's what I'm looking at. Um, yeah, the political implications, well, take them as you will. Alrighty, and here's another one along pretty much the same... Uh, theme of the, uh, I think, the Nike ad. 
So just so I'm clear, and this uh, illustrates the hypocrisy that um, abounds in the world today if you look uh, look uh, fairly closely at most things, actually. Just so I'm clear, these factory workers, which are 80% female, are making Nikes for 20 cents an hour and working to 70 to 80 hours a week. So Nike can profit enough to pay Colin Kaepernick millions to speak out against oppression and <laughs> Injustice. Um, sort of when you put it in those terms, it, uh, yes, it um, does sort of, well, it makes a good point, um, regardless of uh, what side of the argument you're on. And, uh, well, it could be uh, could be interesting. Now, this one here is just a, a very, uh, well, I guess, you know, everything's an ist or something. I guess you could say this is ageist or oldest, but... Uh, the reason why you must not postpone uh, travel plans to retirement. <laughs> oh yeah, had a trip down in Venice on the gondolas. <laughs> oh, it was great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I love this one. This would have to be my favourite, I guess. My favourite piece of crap for this week. But, uh, anyway, moving right along. Uh, oh, uh, well, this one's interesting. My wife asked me to pass her lip balm. Instead, I gave her super glue by mistake. She's still not talking to me. <laughs> Think about it. Alrighty, and oh, here's old poor old Colin Kaepernick again. Real life Al Bundy <laughs> sucked at football. Now sell shoes. <laughs> I've seen this in various forms around this one, and uh, well, you yeah, know, sort of. Sort of true, but uh, yeah, well, well, I guess Al sort of syndicated um, his program, probably um, probably on a par with this guy, actually. Uh, now, this one here, you would think it might have come from Moz, but uh, it didn't, actually. Dingo eating a shark while two snakes have sex. <laughs> Welcome to Australia. Yeah, it's quite an intriguing photo there. Um, I don't know what part Photoshop may have may have paid played in this one. I rather suspect not. Well, I like to think not, but who knows? Ah, now this next one here. I've got no idea what those words mean, but um, I think the picture tells a thousand. Well, at least those five anyway. There. So I think uh, there were serious problems um, with the haymaking this year. <laughs> serious problems with the haymaking this year. Hmm. Never mind. <laughs> we're looking for an improvement next year. And this one here, interesting. We've just had um, Chelsea Manning come to New Zealand with some controversy. Uh, Chelsea Manning, uh, of course, was Bradley Manning uh, of um, various leaking, whistleblowing fame, depending on which side of the argument you're on. But uh, everyone remembers Klinger from the 4077, and uh, we all thought he was a little bit uh, crazy in that. But um, today, he'd get a promotion and be invited to speak at the Democratic National Convention. So... Ah, uh, well, you know, something like that. So, uh, yeah, makes, again, uh, uh, from a human point of view, makes a very good point. Uh, and, well, you know, depending what side of the uh, of the equation you're on, I guess. But, um, mm, interesting how um, how attitudes have changed over the, over the years. Uh, right, and this one here, again, uh, sort of uh, comes through, but... Uh, the difference between a Nazi and a communist is when you say how horrible Nazis have been, they don't say, well, real Nazism has never been tried. Uh, that was sort of um, interesting, uh, yeah, sort of comment, isn't it? Um, all these things that are getting bandied about these days. Oh, and here's one here. Um, Finally, all my winter fat is gone. Now I have spring rolls. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. 
don't know where uh, that's interesting there, but uh, where that's from, uh, looks like it's somewhere in the States and uh, not quite sure. Is that Texas or I'm not uh, up to up with my um, shapes of the states of the US, but uh, anyway, I'm sure someone could maybe point that out in the uh, comments below. And now the old gender e well whatever it is issue. If you belong in this bathroom and you follow my daughter or wife into this bathroom, you're going to need this bathroom. So uh, I think the, uh, the very clear communicator, this guy, communication is king. And uh, yes, it's quite clear and succinct. You may not agree with the sentiments, but uh, the message in this instance is, is very clear. Um, oops, I've just got a cramp in my leg there, which is causing a little bit of uh, controversy. Well, controversy, a little bit of bloody painful actually. All right, so let's go here now from from the viewers. Well, Moz actually, but uh, yeah, he's a great contributor. Sends in uh, one or two or three uh, every week. So I love a wild Friday night watching Web Crap of the Week. Yep, you too can uh, have all the things there with some little uh, meaty goodness and the remote uh, sitting around there. Yep. This is the life, thug, whatever you, whatever you want to call it. And uh, following on from the algebra one from last week, dear algebra, please stop asking us to find your ex. She's never coming back, and don't ask why. <laughs> Actually, the person that wrote that knows quite a little bit about mathematics, I would suspect. So um, yes, very good. <laughs> Written on a blackboard there, probably in some mathematical classroom somewhere around the world. And uh, this one here, clear play on words. Great news, we're all getting laid, <laughs> said the bricks in the barrow. Yeah, the old uh, man with the wheelbarrow doesn't look too happy there. Not a, not a happy uh, look on his face, there must be quite heavy bricks. But uh, certainly the, the brick, the top brick... It's looking, uh, looking very, very uh, excited there. And that brings us to Isaac the Kids page. Now, Isaac is has arrived. He's here in New Zealand. He's maybe six to eight metres away. But um, he arrived before I came home from work and has been soundly asleep ever, uh, ever since. So... I um, he's going to miss this uh, episode of Web Crap of the Week, but hopefully during the week he'll provide um, some, perhaps some pre-recorded interviews or um, photo ops uh, for future Web Crap of the Week. So we've had to have a, 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 a stand-in or an off-course substitute, and uh, here it is. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. And, uh, well, according to reports... Uh, He's um, going pretty well with our three cats here, although uh, young uh, Nikki, the, the youngest of our cats, um, probably never seen a child before, is apparently uh, quite, uh, quite bewildered by the experience, but uh, oh well, time will tell. So uh, that brings us to the end of yet another Web Crap of the Week. Thanks very much for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the crap and uh, are looking forward to another episode next week. Um, perhaps don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. Tell us what your best bit of crap is. Or even send in your own crap to uh, appear on Web Crap of the Week uh, from the viewers. We're only too happy to um, receive and review uh, more crap than... Uh, well, then we have. So uh, thanks uh, for your marvellous support of the channel and Web Crap of the Week. And we look forward to seeing you again next week. All good. Cheers. See you. Hey, smash that like button.